Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lizzie and I post beauty related content here on YouTube. If they're the videos you love to watch then hit that subscribe button down below today. Now I wasn't actually excited for this launch because I'd never actually heard of the movie before until this launch really because I was like what is this launch and then it was explained to me that it's a movie from Netflix and I think it's just dropped, I'm not too sure. So I watched the movie this morning. I've already bought the products but now that I've watched the movie I'm like fucking love the movie there are some great parts and there's some really shit parts just like a lot of movies but revolution have collabed with the school of good and evil to come out with this collection now you get two lipsticks which just look like this and you can see like through the sides they actually come with those little metal rings as well then it comes with three highlighters, but I bought two because the gold one looked a bit too bronzy and the light champagne one looked too light. So I thought mixing them together would be amazing. I love the bottles. I actually love them. Then I bought two of the palettes. There was three. There was like a book, but I didn't buy that one. I bought these two because these two stood out to me the most. And yeah, just let's just get straight into it. So you've got True Beauty Comes From Within, so that's from the School of Good. And then the School of Eva, Eva, Evil, <laughs> the palette is called It's Better Being Bad. So yeah, I thought I'd get these two because these two online looked gorgeous. So the inside just looks like the box. And then once opened, that is what the inside looks like. It's actually really, really gorgeous. I'm loving the greens, loving the purple. Like, it is a palette I feel like I would reach for. So, the names are like School, Crown, Kindness, Menace, Greatness, Duality, Fawn. So, they've got some nice names in there. Nevers. That's the word I was looking for, was Nevers. And it's in there. You've got Clam, Ordinary, Snake, Darkness, and Wicked. So, yeah. That is what that palette looks like. And then I didn't think I would like this palette because you know when people think of angels and good and it's really light colours. So I didn't think I would like this and then I saw the inside and yeah, I pretty much love it. <laughs> you've got your pinks, you've got your oranges, you've got, this is the colour that screamed to me, that dark burgundy shade. And yeah, I've just thought, do you know what? I think I could do something really dusky with this. I think I've stuck my nail in a shade already. So you've got like fairy tale, love, flattery, hero, villains, mirror, friendship, happy, ending, truth, smile, evers, beauty, sword, so on, unicorn. So yeah, that is what that palette looks like. So I'm thinking, as I do my eye look, I don't know, do we do like half and half? Or I don't know. I'll figure that out in a second. But yeah, as I do my makeup, I'm actually gonna talk about the program because why not? Like I've watched it um, and it's a new movie so I can give you kind of like a mini review. So let's um, let's do some swatches. <laughs> okay, we have the squat, squatches, uh, swatches of the first palette, which is It's Better Being Bad. So that is what this palette looks like on the arm. I'm so sorry, well, I'm not sorry, but this palette has swatched so well. And can you see that white? This white over here, literally, that was one swipe. I could not believe that. I've never seen a white swatch that well. I think I'm gonna do one look on one eye and one look on the other. So with this palette, I think I'm gonna go for the greens. I really, really wanna use the greens. So that's what we're gonna do on one eye. And then once we've done that eye, we will swatch this palette. <laughs> feel like I'm never ready for these videos. So we're gonna go in this palette and we're gonna take the shade Victory. Now I'm very, very fucking happy that we have a mirror in this palette, a mirror. Because I feel like other than Shrek, there's not been many mirrors in these palettes and there is a lot of fallout in that shade, a lot. Next, we're going to go in with the shade Nevers. Oh, and I said I was going to talk about the movie, wasn't I? So, the movie 
starts off with two friends, Agatha and Sophie, I believe. I'm hoping I remember that right. And um, they're just like living like a normal life. I don't know when it's set, but it's definitely not set now. It's set in like, I don't know if I want to say like, I don't know, like maybe the 1800s, 1700s, something like that. But it's definitely, you know, like if you're walking down an old market and I don't know, you've got your baskets and stuff for your shopping and yeah, anyway, they're just two friends, normal. Then they come across a book in a bookshop, well, Sophie does, because she loves really, like, fairy tales and stuff like that. And it's the book of the School of Good and Evil, so basically the book for the movie. And I'm sorry, but these colours are blending in really well. So, yeah, come across that, and they end up basically in the story. They get taken, Sophie runs off, and then they get taken, and... Basically, Sophie ends up in the school of evil and Agatha ends up in the school of good. And Sophie is that adamant she wants to end up in the school of good. But yeah, she ends up getting chosen to be in that the school of evil. She lets the evil take over her, blah, blah, blah. She falls in love with the prince from the good side. Um, but he falls in love with Agatha and, you know, just schoolgirl type shit. Um, yeah, and it's a bit cheesy, don't get me wrong, but I actually enjoyed it. I felt like it was like, I don't know, like a fairy tale prop, like that I haven't watched in a long time. I'm sorry, but the blend is amazing. Um, yeah, so it felt really nice to watch. And then I'm going to take, I don't feel like I can add another colour because there ain't really another light green to go in with. If there was a yellow, then yeah. So maybe we'll just go in with the shade Wicked. The school's actually by these two brothers. Uh, one's the headmaster, basically, of the good and one's the headmaster of the evil. But one of the brothers ends up killing the other brother. You know how it is. And I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but... Um, yeah, one of the brothers do die, and one of them is trying to lure Sophie onto the bad side. And yeah, so it's just, it's okay. It's not the best movie, it's very cheesy, but oh my god, that is so nice. We're going to go in with the shade Calm, this green here. I don't know, it's a very long movie, like very long it's over like two hours long which when i saw that i was like oh really i don't really want to be sitting here for two hours like it's not harry potter is it it's quite a long movie and there's not really any twists like i love a good movie with a good twist and there's one twist in it but i didn't feel like that was a great twist if you've watched the movie you should let me know whether you like it or not but yeah it was it was it was okay like i said uh, it's not the best, but I feel like on a nice autumnal evening, like a nice cold October, November evening, it's a nice movie to watch. And I like how it was set because basically the kids at the good and evil school, they're like kids of like heroes and villains. And this school is just like creating the next generation basically of heroes and villains. Okay, that is... Gorgeous. I'm leaving it at that. The main thing I'm going to do right now is just blend the black into that green. And then we're basically done with this eye. I just want to add a little bit more black in there. Just going to blend out some more green. There is a bit of fallout on my cheek as well. And over here, like I said, I'm grateful for the mirror. That is that eye complete. So let's get into swatches of the second palette. All right, so this is the other palette. This is the palette of True Beauty Comes From Within. So this palette here, this is gorgeous. Some of the mattes didn't show up as well as the mattes in the other palette. I definitely know where I'm going with this palette. I feel like we need to do like a dusky, burgundy, rosy toned kind of eye. Yeah, I love that there's an orange in here, but there's this colour next to the orange right here and that colour I am definitely very intrigued to use. Sorry, that's a brown on my monitor. It looks more orange. If 
the orange is over here. Love it, love it, I love this green. Really love the green. Sad there's not a black in the beauty palette, but it's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna use this shade here anyway. So um, let me just put some eye base on. All right, let's start off with the shade Friendship right here. <laughs> Again, it is so dusty. But with the pigmentation, I can't be mad. I wanna cheat and put black here. I just feel like the depth that the shadow can give. All right, and then we are going to take Smile. Oh my God, the part in the movie about the smiling. You guys need to watch that clip because I was a bit like, I was the same as Agatha basically about the smiling. Just reminded me of that movie, Smile. And I haven't even watched that movie, but the amount of clips that keep coming on TikTok, I was just like, yeah, smiling seems a bit, what's the word? I don't even know what the word is. I feel like you can't really see that friendship color anymore. I'm just gonna add some more. It's just kind of like the this is the friendship colour blended out. I don't know, the, the green eye has just come out a lot better. Not as much fallout though. For the lid, we're going to go in with the shade Truth. I really like the shade there. Hmm, it's not you really picking up on my brush, so I'm going to use my finger. Which it is picking up with so much better. Clean the edges up a bit more. And then we're just gonna blend out the edges and add a little bit more of that smile shade up here. I feel like this eye is just like patchy. I feel like I need to go in, do some more blending. I don't really like the look of this eye that much. Love the look of this one, not happy with this one that much. I think because this one came out so well that this one is like disappointing me right now. So yeah, let's, um, I'm just gonna go off, fix the eye, put some base on and then yeah we can come back to do some highlighters which I'm very 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 excited for. All right so it is time to put on these lovely little potion looking bottles of highlighters. Ain't they gorgeous? I have put two different blushes on because I'm filming like a rare beauty blush video that won't be up for a little while because I need to actually film all of the blushes on my cheek first. Let's put these on. So I've got the shade Duality and then I've got the shade Growth. So let me show you what these two look like separately, but I am going to mix them. Bottles are just so cute. Top we have Duality and bottom we have Growth and they are really, really stunning. So I'm just going to mix them on my hand and then like dab them on my cheeks. Oof. they're not blinding but I can imagine on their own they might be it's just that I'm mixing them so I'm probably not showing them to their full potential but let me just dab that in that gives such a natural glow to your skin I am gonna do it on the rest of my face I've just removed foundation from my nose and my nose is really red so um that's fun I've finished putting the highlighter on my face and I absolutely love it it's dried into my skin really nicely I don't even feel like I need powder but just for the sake of me being me I'm gonna put some powder on so let's do that together okay I can still see the shimmer on my forehead Just to let you know, I did just use Revolution's um, Reloaded Powder in Translucent. Face is all set. I'm going to put some bronzer and bring some life back to my face. Most of my makeup is on. We just need to do lipstick. So here we have them. We've got the first shade in Good Is Great. That is just what the colours are looking like. There's something very special about these lipsticks, which if you haven't seen them yet, You'll see them soon. And the next one is I have Fresh Villainy to attend to. <laughs> it's called their Nevers Duality Lipstick. And then the other one is actually called the Evers Duality um, Lipstick. The Nevers are the school of evil. 
The Evers are the school of good. They have their little like rings here. So you've got a flower for the Evers and then you've got like a snake for the Nevers. But guys, look at that. It is a two-toned lipstick, two-toned. So that is the Evers. That is the colors on there. And then the Nevers just look like that. So you've got black and you've got a nude. So we're gonna do the Evers first and then we'll put the Nevers on after. Let's just swatch them both. There's like a slight, it's like a lip liner kind of shade. Let's try the black one. Oh, it's not black. Guys, it's berry. It's, it's, a, it's a blackberry, berry kind of tone. Okay. Let's try Evers. They smell really nice too. Okay, to use the deeper side, you really have to kind of, for the top of your lip, go on it like this. And for the bottom of your lip, you've got to kind of go like this. So it's a bit of a weird, <laughs> weird concept, but I, I, I like it. I do. This color's nice. I wish the darker side was a little bit thicker and the lighter side was a little bit not as thick. It would have been amazing. So yeah, that is the first shade. Let's put the second shade on. This one feels a bit more matte. I don't know if it's my lips. <laughs> I would have gone the other way around. I will just blend it out. This is different. This is very different. I'm sorry I'm looking in the mirror because it's not how I would have done it. I think I would have lined them the opposite way around. I would have had the lighter colour on the inside and the darker colour on the outside. But you know what? I'm kind of happy it's a purple lipstick. I I'm, actually am. It's very different. But I do like this. They're very, very matte formula. To me, it just feels like I haven't completed my lips. We've got one last thing to do, which is in a corner and brow bone highlight for both sides. Now for this side, we are gonna go in with the shade Mirror. That's gorgeous. That is really gorgeous. Love that. And then for the other side, we are gonna go in with the shade Snake, which is right here. Oh, oh, wow. For me, that is like an Alex in a corner highlight shade. She'll love that one. This is completed look. Let's just uh, take me hair out. What do we think? I love it. Love, love, love the collection. I love the aesthetic of everything. Like, I just love the bottles that the highlighters come in. They're absolutely gorgeous. I love the lipsticks. I love that they've got like the little rings on them. I wouldn't have cared if they didn't have the rings on them, to be fair. fair. I love that this one's Evers and this one's Nevers. Like, I just very on trend for the movie. And then the eyeshadow palettes, really gorgeous. I do prefer the Nevers. <laughs> Wait, yeah, I do prefer the Nevers much more than the Evers palette. Just, it's just one of those things, isn't it? It's just, it's my preferred color story. There's a black in there, there's a white in there. You've got some greens. I just, I prefer it much more. I didn't feel like the shimmer performed as well as the Nevers on the Evers side. <laughs> But overall, I couldn't complain. I feel like this collection was definitely on point for the movie. Now that I've watched the movie, I can actually say, yeah, definitely on point. The lipstick's very different for me. I feel like I would have liked it if it was the other way around, like a darker lipstick liner and then a lighter lipstick. But then at the same time, I'm not too sure. Like I'd have to see the makeup in the movies to see why they did that. I don't know. I'm a bit confused why they did that. <laughs> but yeah, overall, you can create some really lovely looks with this. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please let me know if you're collecting anything from this collection and I will catch you in my next one. Bye.